Hello and welcome back to my channel. It feels really weird today to be looking at a camera again because it seems like ages since I've appeared on film as an actual human being and not a pair of kind of disembodied hands really. So uh, yeah, it's good to be back. And in today's video, I'm going to be working on my interpretation of the Sally Bowles character from the film and musical Cabaret. And that's of course played by the phenomenal Liza Minnelli. So yeah, it was uh, something that I've wanted to work on for a little while actually, because I just love the film really. Um, unusually speaking actually, because I'm not a huge fan of musicals, but uh, yeah, it just breaks through as a great film really. I've chosen however to work a little differently this week, in that I'll be making just a head and shoulders bust of Sally Bowles for reasons that I'll discuss during the narration of this video. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So to get things started, I'm just gonna wipe down my clay boards with a wet wipe and some kitchen roll. And I'm just gonna prepare and condition some clay so I can start on Sally's head. As you'll know if you watched many of my videos, I, I like to start on the head for a project, just so that I can get a sense of who I'm working with. And it also gives me a good idea if the project's going to be in any way successful or not, so it's always a good place to start really. So unusually, I'm going to create a bust today, or a head and shoulders sculpt really because Sally Bowles' outfit is a little too difficult to create with colours polymer clay because, you know, it's all fishnets and uh, stockings etc. So it's, yeah, some things are just too challenging to work with. As much as I try not to think in terms of limitations because it's not good for creativity, I think some things are just so obviously complicated that, uh, you know, it's really not worth the hours of, of toil, really. So, yep, a head and shoulders bust it is today. And it'll also allow me to really think kind of creatively, really, because, you know, at this stage of the project, I had really no idea of how she was going to turn out, really. So, yeah, it's sometimes good to start on a project with no real idea of where you're going with it, really. So, all I knew was that I wanted to create a bust that represented Sally while she was singing. So, uh, yeah, that's the brief that I gave myself. So I've given Sally some kind of aqua eyeshadow and to evoke her eyelashes, I'm just going to create a couple of black lines like so. And I think I'm just going to pop the lashes on the bottom because I think it would look too much really otherwise if I wanted to, you know, put them on the top lash as well. And it's really evoking A Clockwork Orange now, which is a film that I really, really like. So yeah, I think I'd like to create Alex the Large at some point soon as well, maybe in a kind of similar style. It's just the eye makeup, isn't it? You know, the, the eyelashes really evoke uh, that character as well. So to ensure that I was working with a nice sort of solid sculpture, I baked this a few times along the way, as it just allows you a bit more freedom really um, to create a piece that you're happy with. So I just added some more flesh tone clay um, over the base here, just to try and evoke a more female form. And it took quite a lot of time really. It is interesting actually because I, I thought just doing a, a head and shoulders sculpt that it would be a fair bit quicker to create than a full body but to be honest it probably worked out about the same really. If you watched my video from earlier this week uh, you'll know that I've broken my toes so my time is kind of limited in the studio at the moment, well, so I thought anyway, you know, I wanted to give myself quite an easy brief to work on this week, so I wasn't spending a huge amount of time <laughs> sat down in the studio because it's kind of difficult to elevate my foot um, just because of, you know, the layout really in the studio, but yeah, it didn't kind of work out that way really, but um, I had lots of breaks along the way, so you know, it wasn't too bad really. 
so hopefully things will be a little easier next week. I just managed to kick the bed as I was getting ready to go to bed basically so note to self to pay a bit more attention to my surroundings. So I'm deviating from Sally's actual outfit here and I'm putting on a, a back panel really because it's not the neatest at the back so I just want to ensure that that's closed over somehow and to evoke the theme of show business further I thought I'd like to experiment with a theme of stars really so I created a load of tiny tiny little stars in grey um, and bronze and purple as you'll see here and because the cookie cutter tool that I have doesn't create the neatest uh, cutouts I just went round those with a scalpel and uh, made them slightly smaller as well which I think worked a little better but yeah it's a fiddly job so it took a little bit of time really but you know it's always worth uh, neatening things off as and where you can so here I just started adding some stars to the base of the sculpts and I also created some darker grey which I think worked quite well and because I wanted it really to kind of fit the theme of you know art deco uh, the purple wasn't really working at the bottom so I just stuck with the theme of the the two shades of grey and the bronze so yeah it fits in really quite well with the 1930s theme so I think it's coming together quite nicely and I think the stars also help to make it feel like an arts object rather than you know, it's quite a severe crop to her um, her waist and her arms really. It just, you know, adds a, an art element to it, I think. And now I'll just add her rather iconic kiss curls to the side. And I'll just keep building on the hair. It's really interesting that while I was making this, um, it's obviously based on Liza Minnelli's interpretation. At times I found that it really, really looked like Judy Garland's, which is really interesting, as I never ever really thought that Liza Minnelli looked particularly like her mother, but you know, I obviously have picked up something along the line here. So I'm just including this bit here because, um, you know, I have to clean my pasta machine a good sort of half a dozen times at least for any projects so it felt only appropriate to include some of the footage here. So now I'm going to work on Sunny Bowl's bowler hat that she of course wore for her mine hair performance and I think it should add you know another element to the piece and really help to bring it together even further. But I think the base here is a little too wide so I'm just going to bring that in a, a little tighter and make the brimmer a bit smaller really and I'll just see what that looks like and yeah I think that's kind of more in keeping really I don't want it to look enormous on her head I just want it to look like a you know a, a flattering piece really so I'll just start building that together and she has a purple bands on her bowler hat so I'll just create a tiny strip of the purple polymer clay here and I'll wrap that around like so and there we go that's looking pretty convincing as a little bowler hat and I'll just place that on like so if you're new to my channel I'm a polymer clay artist and illustrator and I make weekly videos about my polymer clay sculptures and I have some vlogs and some tutorials in the mix too so if you like what you see by all means go and hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell for notifications as well. So now I've baked the piece for what feels like the thousandth time I'm just going to go around and add some Sculpey Glaze to some of the Starburst. I'm not going to put it on all of them because I, I want to, you know, have a bit of visual interest going on. So there we go. And here she is, my little Sally sculptures all done. And 
I have to say I'm really pleased with this piece. It felt really nice just to experiment really and not have a clue really as to where I was going with it because, you know, it encourages creativity. So yeah, I've really enjoyed making this one. I hope you enjoyed that. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll link below actually to some further polymer portrait process videos that are kind of similar in theme to this one. So you should hopefully enjoy those too. So yeah, take care out there, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.